segment this week, City Eats is all about Spain. And just in time for the cold weather, we're making paella with Chef Luis Valenzuela of Carmen Restaurant. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Thank okay, you. Okay, let's talk about paella. It is a yes. beautiful rice dish all over Spain. But, but let, let me show you this because it's important. Uh, paella, paella is not the rice per se. It is the pan, right? This is this is what the paella means, and and this is very paella is very special because it's almost like a white canvas, right? You get to you get to play with it. You can add flavors. You can add textures to it. You can add even emotions if you. If you do, and I'll um, tell you, it takes a long time to prepare. Much like you know, Italian culture for us, we have it, risotto, and it, it takes it a long time to get the flavors. Yes, yes, it really does. So, uh, aside of so, you would think of paella as you cook the rice separately, and then everything gets together in the pan. That's not how you do it. You want to build the flavors in the in the actual pan, right? Slowly. Slowly, exactly. So what we're gonna do here is, I'm cooking. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be adding flavors into the pan slowly. We're gonna start adding that sort of rich base for it, so the rice absorbs all those flavors. We're gonna cook uh, some uh, chorizo, shrimps. We're gonna add garlic, uh, chicken, clams, mussels. But all of these, we're searing them, barely sear them, because we're gonna add the vegetables to it. We the want the layers. vegetables to to absorb. Italians um, uh, call it sofrito yeah. as well as Spaniards, and it's just we're gonna make a very, very aromatic and tasty sofrito. How long does it take start to finish to make your own paella at home? The if you have the right pan. The rice in itself takes 21 minutes. Okay. Exact. To, uh, to well, well, from from beginning to end. Because I know in restaurants they say usually if you order paella it has to be for a minimum of two people. It's meant for sharing because it takes so long to prepare. Yes. Yes. And. It does takes it takes about 45 minutes to, to from start to end because what takes the longest actually is the the actual vegetables. Okay. That's what takes the longest. Now at the restaurant we say that we take 40, 45 minutes to do it uh, because we take our time building this, and every time we do them we do them a laminate, right? So it's so that's let's what makes pretend, it so chef. Let's pretend we're going to fast forward time. So you start with browning the meat, and then you have the yes. different layers. So, so now this is what happens. So after you start cooking all the vegetables into okay. it. Okay. You're gonna, we're gonna get this sort of thing. This diced is zucchini, diced, you have diced so pepper. onion, zucchini, peppers, garlic, peas. Peas are super important. They they add so much flavor fresh. into it. This fresh, exactly. And, and then, then you, after cooking this for about 20 minutes, you end up having something like this. On and a you low take a heat. look at this on a low heat. heat. So this is this is what you like. This is what you want. Glaze, translucent. Glaze, yes, yes. And then over here. And over here, after 20 minutes of been cooking this with, uh, so at this stage, you know, I would add the stock or water. You can add water to it uh, because we're building the flavors out of the out of the sauce into the pan. That's when we add the clams. And this is the patience you need because you do one or two ladles need. at a time and yes. you let it evaporate exactly. and then you put in another one to two ladles. And mussels. And take a look at this. This is just this is bomba rice, which is another very important part of this uh, bomba? Uh, equation. Bomba. Bomba. It's, a, it's, it's similar to arborio, but it would less a lot less uh, uh, starch. starch into it. And it's almost like you're planting seeds, you see? Yeah. So you're grabbing them with your hand and Look at that. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? It's just and then, such a beautiful. Chef, you have some finished products. Let's explain what yes. tapas are. Tapas is usually also sharing little platters, yeah? So, yeah. So, tapas, the meaning of tapas in itself, technically, uh, is a sharing something on a piece of a toast and you have, you know, some sort of protein on top. Like a bite. But what we did here, instead of having that little technicality, we, we extracted that and we created these things. What tapas means to me is sharing. Okay. What tapas means to me is you coming together with myself, we'll have breakfast or dinner or lunch, and then we share this dish, right? What is that, Chef? This is uh, green tomatoes, the towers of green tomatoes yeah. with uh, um, feta cheese and, and chutney. And then we have a final paella. This is what Beautiful. you end up having. Grilled octopus. I guarantee you, you make these for Christmas with your friends and family, they will love you. You're on the nice They'll list for life. And, Guys, and check it out. Incredible. Try something new in our city. It's called Carmen Restaurant. It's getting so much buzz. It's on Queen and Shaw, and you have a little yeah. side restaurant. If you want to try and buy the bumba rice and the plates, they have all that. They serve coffee and treats and tapas yeah. also to go if you want to sample. Carmen Restaurant is what the buzz is about if you're looking for a delicious paella adventure. Thank you, Chef. Thank we'll you. be back with thank more BC so after this. Well, thank you. What is this, Chef? Thank you. That's uh, dates. Uh,